back to another vlog i am so excited to have you guys here it's friday so the weekend fun stuff is getting started as you guys can see i am dressed because we are getting ready to go to hot pot hot pot is one of our favorite places right now we can't get over it and it's just so fun and there's just so many different hot pot places around in the city that we want to try so we want to go try a different one just to see what they have to offer and have a little adventure and like learn what the area is like and everything so really excited let me show the outfit okay here is my outfit it's kind of giving 90s vibes i like it i like it tube top dad shorts open button up scrunch socks and doc martens i mean come on that's like perfectly 90s but yeah we are gonna go ahead and go now because we want to make sure that we're there at a nice time because hot pot can get crowded very easily so i'm gonna make sure that we get a good spot that we can enjoy it <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and head out now but before i go i did take my seed symbiotic before you eat my thing is i just have such a hard time swallowing big pills like i just sat here for like five minutes just trying to swallow well, not five minutes a little dramatic but i love taking it before i eat it really helps me with bloating and everything especially with hot pot you know it can get a little you know what i'm saying a little bit spooky oogie it's spooky <laughs> yeah so definitely need to take one of these but yeah now we're gonna go for real it is only february it is already 80 degrees here in florida i am not used to this but i can get used to it though because i love nice warm weather but oh i almost forgot how hot it gets here it's 80 degrees my edges are gonna sweat off <laughs> It's a hot pie! So excited! God, it's like summer! This is crazy. Literally just saw a guy driving with no shirt on. Like, that's how hot it is here. Like some people are shoveling snow right now. And we're, bless you, and we're out in shorts, windows down, you know. ice cream oh my god that is so good these ones were super duper good they're gone this one is pretty good it was kind of iffy on the first bite but pretty good enough for us to open the second one and get into it this one was kind of just like melted chocolate ice cream weirdly i don't know how else to describe it and this one is kind of like a dark chocolate kind of coffee thing yeah dana's gonna try it yeah, just to see what it tastes like a little bit. Because it's not bad, but this is not her favorite. Yeah, that's why we're not finishing that one. And clearly this one wasn't that great either. It's just like a regular chocolate ice cream. But that cinnamon cake that we tried was so good. It was so good.
so we just made it back home from our adventure the hot pot k barbecue was so good walking around in the stores was so fun going to the mall was so fun we had auntie Anne's. it was so yummy just a perfect bright day so excited but now we are exhausted from the heat it was surprisingly so hot today like just a few days ago we had to turn the heat on in the car now we have the ac blaring at like max capacity so it's just a lot of duality here <laughs> but now i'm gonna get comfy and relax for a little bit and i have some content to be posting so i'm gonna get to that and some stuff to be editing for tiktok but yeah i'm gonna get comfortable and get to work guys i look a little crazy i just finished taking a nap you know those naps where it's in the middle of the day and you didn't hydrate before so you're like delusional and your body wants you to keep napping like it's so tired that it wants to continue to nap but like the nap doesn't feel good like at all that's definitely one of those naps i just had but i'm gonna drink some more water and hydrate so that I feel much better because we got a lot of shows to watch okay we had some like weird Wi-Fi outage so weird so it was like we didn't get the chance to watch some of our shows so we are going to catch up on those we have Velma to watch we have you you just came out the last of us comes out today so it's not in competition with the Super Bowl you have the parent test that's on, on Hulu right and then Abbott Elementary okay so it's just perfect it's so exciting I need to get up. But yeah, I also just posted a TikTok. So if you are seeing this, go check out my TikTok. I would love for the two worlds to collide. I need my YouTube girlies to make sure that they're also on TikTok. Because, you know, sometimes I can't do content for both YouTube and TikTok simultaneously. So sometimes I take a break from YouTube and put all my effort into TikTok. And then sometimes I put all my effort into TikTok. And then I kind of, you know, don't really say much on YouTube. So if you are ever wondering where I am, check my other platform i'm not really fucking with instagram really right now um it's just i'm in a weird place where i don't think i know who my target audience on instagram is because majority of my followers were people from high school and college um and i go to neither of those things anymore so people that watch my stories like i don't know if they're gonna enjoy the content that i make and i probably should go through and you know like clear that out but i like having 3,000 followers so <laughs> i'm just kind of just gonna kind of naturally post whenever i want so i'm not really gonna try to learn the algorithm i'm really trying to exponentially grow up there like i am on youtube and tiktok but i am going to post my really nice pictures up there and eventually as you guys kind of gravitate towards up there and follow me up there and i know that it's you guys that are following me on my instagram then i will definitely start to put more effort into my instagram but as of now people on my instagram won't appreciate what i post as of now so that's why i'm not really messing with instagram right now but anyways i think that's about it that i want to say really let me go ahead and get myself together and Wonder. we're gonna start watching the shows. I'm so excited. You said there's a big difference. Period. Watching Velma. We love Daphne. Hi. We just love it. This show. It's just just so perfect like it's just so funny and so queer and look like that girl is high like <laughs> she was freaking high in the background like it's just so many different like ethnicities in the show and it's so cool definitely check it out i know people have issues with the the person mindy who's playing velma but i honestly personally i didn't even know about the drama until i watched the show so if you can find it in your heart to enjoy the show without thinking of that i definitely would recommend it because it actually is a really good plot line especially for poc like i think it's just so cool to see us in animation and cartoons Ooh, oh this isn't spoiling anything let me this is so bad oh my god something about it reminds me of i love the intro for the last of us something of it reminds me of a twilight soundtrack look Oh my God, y'all. That episode almost had me crying again. Almost had me boohooing again. Episode three already had me crying so hard. Literally, like I cried myself to freaking sleep. But this episode, oh my God. Where they just introduced us to these characters. Oh my God. I, I can't and do it to us every time. This is a journey. They are really developing the journey that they're going. Oh my God, like I can't even think about that. Like. 
I'm not gonna spoil it, but if you want a reason to cry, watch this show. Okay, I'm gonna be getting ready for bed now. I'm gonna take my makeup off. The shows that we've been watching today, oh my God, they were so good. Like Last of Us, oh my God. Just thinking about it, I honestly low-key wish I didn't remind myself. Oh. Oh my God, but Velma, that was good. We have more shows to watch tomorrow, but tonight we are catching up on the episodes for you. And so far, it's freaking crazy. I don't expect anything less. Like I said, before we even started it, BS gets started like immediately. <laughs> it's just crazy, but I love it. Definitely one of my favorite shows right now, but I've had a pretty long day. I was up pretty early and then we had a really productive day. We got some steps in, so. so I'm gonna get ready for bed now. But I'm gonna go in with my reusable makeup pad. It's something that I got from Target. And it was only like for $3 for two in a pack. I don't remember where my other one is, but this one I've been using for like a month now. It'll be like four weeks to be exact. And it's been amazing. This is the side that I've been using and it's not awful. But then if I wanna switch it up, I have that other side to also use. So I really like it. And then if you just throw this in the washing machine, like I'm sure it kind of will get everything out for you really. So. Yes, we have a very exciting day tomorrow, so I wanna make sure that I go ahead and get my face cleaned, and I'll go ahead and get ready for bed, because I have a Valentine's Day photo shoot tomorrow. I'm super duper duper excited about it. I need to make sure that I'm in the proper mindset because I need to be executed properly. I wanna make sure that I'm in the proper mindset to be on camera, and I feel confident, and everything's just gonna work out right, because I'm gonna be wearing my set that I got from Skims in the holiday shop, I mean the Valentine's Day shop, and I'm gonna have a really nice photo shoot so that I can prove to Skims and brands that I can create quality content for them and I want my content to be able to be used on their platforms and I just really want to test myself as a creator and to be able to see if I can go through and execute because I just love creativeness, I love coming up with things and just doing creative things so I just really want to see like how I'll be able to handle like a real creative project here, you know? So I'm gonna have to go out. I ordered everything. Oh, I'm supposed to show you guys everything I ordered. Tomorrow I will show you guys everything that I ordered for the shoot and everything I just got. Cause I just made a TikTok of everything that I got as a um, content creator. And I wanna show you guys all, cause I got some good stuff. And it's just so cool because so much of it low key was free. And I think that's so cool. I'm so excited to be at that point with content creation where I'm getting products and brands are noticing me and, yada, yada, yada. and I even have even more products than I think about it like coming in working with brands like that have reached out to me directly and wanting to work with me and I just think that is so 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 exciting I am just so excited to be having professional relationships with brands and being able to communicate back and forth with them and making quality content and yes because I just want to be a part of the train of POC creators, you know, getting into this field and, you know, having the world hear our opinions and hear our voices and our perspectives and our visions. I'm just so excited to be a part of that. It's been a dream of mine for so long and I really do feel as though I am on the come up. And I'm just so freaking excited to be doing some professional work. I have a little dramatic, but I've given my life to content creation. <laughs> I love content creation, so I'm just excited to be seeing some of the fruits of my labor.
hi vlog it is now saturday and we have a very eventful day well not really eventful but very exciting day ahead of us i am doing my valentine's day shoot today and i'm really nervous i don't know i just get super nervous when i take the time to do like a photo shoot because like i really just am a perfectionist and i want these pictures to turn out so good and i'm just so excited because i also just have so many ideas that i want to execute and i just want to be able to turn out like the photos that i am taking inspo from but i think it's gonna go good i'm in a good mood at breakfast i've kind of been you know managing my nerves so i think it's gonna turn out good but now we're about to head out so i can go and get my flowers and then we're gonna come back and do my makeup and just get ready and yeah but now i'm gonna charge up my camera and then we're gonna head out and go and get the flowers guys so we have already made it back to the house i've just been so busy with editing and recording and posting i did not update you guys as much as i should have but talk to you guys now because it's right before the shoot um i'm about to do my makeup i have on skim set now and i'm about to put on my bow i'm gonna show you guys but yes yeah, so now i'm about to get ready yeah. So now I'm about to apply the bow because the inspo, I'm gonna put on the screen what the inspo for the shoot is. It's heavily inspired by like Coquette, I think it's called. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. It's inspired by that like Coquette aesthetic, but with a digital camera, like that flashy kind of look. So I'm super excited. The makeup look is inspired by Cindy Wolfie, I think that's her name. That makeup look she did, it was really nice. So I'm gonna try and do that for the shoot. Okay, let's see. I have a piece of ribbon. Let's see. This might be fine. Oh no, I definitely need a bigger one. That's okay. Let's get a bigger one. Maybe do like this long. Let's turn this light like one. Uh, I hope that looks okay. okay. Okay, the hair ribbon is good. And I also have another ribbon for my neck. And I got these ribbons, but they low-key, the colors of them low-key don't match. Let me like see what color the flowers is. It matches the flowers. I feel like it'd be smarter to go with the lighter ones. So I'm gonna go with the lights. I'll be back after I do that. I'll be back. Okay, so I am bowed out. I'm a little nervous about how theatrical it is, but it is a photo shoot, so like it's supposed to kind of be costumey. But I have a bow on my hair, a bow around my neck, and a bow on the flowers. I think this is super cute. But okay, now I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna try to make it quick. I was gonna talk, but I want this the makeup process to go as fast as possible. So I am just going to do a quick video for TikTok, and then we will get to the shooting of the photos. Special thanks to Daylin. She ate these pictures up, you guys. She did so good. I made a whole vision board of the style that I wanted to go for and I showed her and she helped me make the pictures come to life. I am so grateful. I really wish that I could have shown the process to you guys a little more, but photo shoots sometimes can be just like intimate and like very personal sometimes. But um, <laughs> but no, it was so 
so, so fun. I'm gonna edit them up and have them ready to be posted for Valentine's Day, cause I'm just so excited about Valentine's Day. And yeah, I am just so happy to be able to have executed this idea because I had this idea for like weeks now. It was like some issues with this package coming in. It had to be returned the first time to the sender and then I had to reorder it and yada, yada, yada. So I am just so happy that it went well. I mean, I had so much planned for this weekend. Like I did so much and this one was very important. I was able to get the other stuff done, but I was nervous about being able to get this one done. Oh my God, but there is no better feeling than making a list and checking everything off that list like perfectly. And I'm just so happy right now. But I hope that this video was a good video. It wasn't as perfect. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be real. It wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be, but I was doing a lot of multitasking. So it makes sense that, you know, I was kind of, you know, in and out of, you know, back and forth. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. Better vlogs are to come. I'm sure this video is still gonna be fun. I'm sure I'm gonna edit it up very well, but better vlogs are going to come. And I'm literally like, I trashed this room trying to do everything I wanted to do today so tomorrow we are doing a Sunday reset so that's gonna be a separate vlog so be on the lookout for that but thank you guys for watching I love you guys so much bye